and an exclusive on the new coronavirus, the number of deaths greatly exceeds those released by the Chinese regime. Actual numbers could exceed official figures by 10 times, with no less than 200 deaths per day in Wuhan. Sources tell us the Hankou funeral cremator operates 24 hours a day. It has a capacity of 30 cremation furnaces. For example, Hong Kong-based media report an elderly woman named Leo Rong was sent to the isolation ward nine days after getting infected, but died within a few hours. Her body was immediately sent to the Hankou funeral home for cremation. According to the article, 14 to 20 cremators were all operating around the clock. It takes a crematorium on average 1.5 to 3 hours to process a body. So the total number of dead being processed by the 14 cremators of the Hankau Funeral Home would be closer to 112 to 224 per day. On January 28th, an article surfaced on a number of mainland China news websites titled Wuhan Civil Affairs Bureau announces exemption of cremation charges for the remains of patients who died in the epidemic. The reason was the sheer number of family members complaining to the Civil Affairs Bureau and the funeral home of the cost of delivering and cremating corpses. The usual cost is 12,000 yuan. A manager of a funeral home in Wuhan told the Epic Times that the government demanded all cremation of dead bodies due to the virus be handled by the Hankou Funeral Home. The government also supplied the funeral home with multiple vehicles to help meet the demand. Epic Times tried dialing the Hankou Funeral Home lines several times but wasn't able to get through. When the reporter told a different funeral home about that, the worker said it was because the Hankou Funeral Home was too busy. A few days ago, a cry for help came from a medical staff in Wuhan on social media. In the recording, the lady said she faced a large number of infected people every day without being able to cure them all. She also said the actual number of infected people is more than 100,000. Amid tears, she explained there were more than 100 patients being seen by medical staff that day and that the majority of them are now dead. Since the Chinese Communist Party Health Committee began announcing the numbers of infected and dead on January 23rd, the ratio between the two has been around three. If the numbers from the medical staff are taken into account, the number of deaths among the 100,000 infected people should be around 3,000.